In this video, we're going to look at how we can add services to Spark. We're going to see how we can do this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. So what are services? Well, basically what we're able to do is connect Spark up to different apps, such as the Reminders app. Then what we can do is we can send an email to the Reminders app. If you use OmniFocus, you can send a reminder to OmniFocus. You can send it to Things. We have a number of different services that we can connect up to Spark. Let's first see how this works on the Mac. So I'm in Spark here, and let's say I wanted to send this email here to my Reminders app. Maybe I want to create a reminder with this email. Well, all we need to do is just connect Spark up to that service. In this case here, it's going to be Reminders. And then what we can do is we can send this email to the app, to the Reminders app. We select the email, and then we go up to the three dots here. And when we click on the three dots, what you're going to see is Add Service. So I select this. It opens up the Preferences, and from here I can see all of the different services I can connect it to. So if you use Things, which is a to-do manager or a project manager, you can connect up to Things. You can connect up to OmniFocus. You can connect it up to Evernote. We're going to go with Reminders here. So now I just click on Connect. And now what I'm able to do is send any email to the Reminders app. So let's go ahead and send this email to my Reminders app. I just go up to the three dots here again, and then you're going to see Reminders. And you can add more than one service. So I'm going to select this. Now I can set what the name of it is. I can create an email for it or include the email for it, or I can create a link. Usually I will use a link. So then when I click on it, it opens it back up in Spark. I can set when I want it to remind me. Again, this is the Reminders app. And then I can also set which list I want to add it to. So I'm going to go with Family here. I just click on Save. And when I do that, it adds it to my Reminders app. So now let's hide this, and we're going to go to my Reminders app. And what you're going to see here, under Family, my email. And this is a link, which means what I can do is I can click on this, and it'll open up in Spark. To manage our services, what we do is we go up to Spark, and then we go over to our Preferences. We have a new window that opens up. And then from here, what we do is we go over to the Services tab. So this is where we can go and add new services as well as remove them. All I have to do is just click on it, and I can log out of it. I am actually going to log out of here because it does sync with all the other devices. So if I leave, leave it logged in here, when I go over to my iPad or iPhone, I'm not going to be able to show you how to connect it up to the Reminders app. So I'm going to log out, and then we're going to go over to my iPad here. So what I first need to do is connect a service. So what I do is I go up to the three horizontal lines here. This is one way of doing it. I go down to my settings. And then from here, you're going to see services. And when I click on services, I have all of the different services here that I can add. But an easier way to do that is go over to the email here. And then when you click on the three dots, you can also add a service. So let's go and add my Reminders app again. Click on it. We're going to go with Reminders. And now it just connected it up. And from here, I can go and save it as an email or a link. I'm going to go with a link again. I can add it to a specific list. And then I can also set a reminder. When I click on Save, it'll add it to my Reminders app. I'm going to remove this again because then we're going to see how we can do this on the iPhone. So I just go back over to my settings, services, and we're going to remove this account. And now let's see how this works on the iPhone. I select my email. I go down to the three dots in the lower right hand corner. I add my service. I select reminders. We only have to do this once. I hit OK. And now what I'm able to do is save it as a link or an email. 
I like to have links. I can select what list I want it to be in. And then I can set it to remind me. When I click on save in the upper right hand corner, it'll save it to my reminders app. To manage your services, you go to the three horizontal lines in the upper left hand corner. You go down to settings at the very bottom. And then you're going to see services, tap on services. And then from here, what you're able to do is add a service. So that's how we add services and why we want to add services in Spark. With services, what we're able to do is send an email over to another app, such as Evernote or the Reminders app or OmniFocus. You can send it as the email, which means it's going to include the content of the email, or you can send it as a link. And then when you click on that link in that other app, such as Reminders or Evernote, it'll open it up in Spark. So it's another way of organizing your emails. You can store them in other apps. So that's how we add services to save our emails in Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone.